What's good? I'm Tech with Corey, and today I'm talking about something that I use multiple times a day. And if you're like me, you probably do the same, right? We take screenshots and screen recordings, right? So I'm always screenshotting some, screen recording something for my personal life, work life, and my creative life, right? So it's a ton of options online, but I got a MacBook, so I just always just defaulted to what's on the MacBook, right? So I just use their screenshots, uh, try to do the screen recording thing they got, um, but it, it works, but it's lacking features, right? So like always, get online, find a ton of different things, get on YouTube, see what people say they use, right? So I came across Clean Shot X, right? And boy, is this thing packed full of features, right? It does everything that I can already get out of my Apple one, but it's endless when it comes to the editing capabilities, right? So let's jump into it. I'm gonna show you my workflow when I use it and why it works for me and why it probably will work for you. So let's jump into it right now. All right, so let's get right to it. I'm on Clean Shot X, right? So you cl capture your Mac screen like a pro so you can scroll through it. They got a 30-day money-back guarantee, which is really cool. And like they say right here, it feels like seven apps in one, right? And that is really, truly how it is, right? So here we go. Let's check all the features out, right? So you can annotate background tools, quick access overlay, screenshot, screen recordings. They got a cloud, floating screenshots, text recognition, all that little bit, right? So if you scroll down, you can see you can annotate. So when you take a screenshot, you can just go ahead and annotate directly on it, right? So it all works perfectly fine on that end, right? So they even got the best part for me is this thing here. Like they got all these tools here, rectangle flipped and all that. But what was game changing for me was blur because I would take screenshots and have to go open Photoshop up to blur something and go through all of that, right? So here we go. Let's just take a screenshot here and show you what I'm talking about, right? So here we go. Screenshot right here we're going to take this boom when that comes up i have it automatically set so i can name mine so let's just say i want to name that test right so it's going to name that test but right here in this lower corner it's going to pop up where i want to edit this right so what got me right here you see it says blur right so right here at the top we click this blur and then boom we put that right over it and it blurs that right over, right? So boom, we blur that out and it shows all the features right here where if you wanna go through anything that you need to do here, um, right here you wanna annotate over something, you can easily annotate and say you forget something and you just wanna, like always, you don't wanna use that, you can control Z out of it, right? So all the features are here that we use, but the thing that got me the most was the blur because a lot of these, they got some of the same features, but the blur is what I use in my everyday workflow, my personal life, creative life, so on and so forth, right? So once you finish, you can click save as, and you've got JPEG is, your, is my default. You can save it and you're good to go, right? So let's close that out right there and save that out. So now if you just keep going through it, you can, uh, it's still down here in the bottom. You can just close that out, right? So boom, you can pick the formats that you want. You got a background tool. So if you're taking uh, screenshots and you don't want to actually use your desktop, you can easily add your own background. They got 10 backgrounds included and they work perfectly fine. If you look right there, those are cool, right? And with the quick access um, right here, when you finish, it has it all right there. You can uh, bookmark something, you can edit it, you can send it to the cloud, you can save, copy, whatever you want to do, right? So those quick actions are there uh, and everything is there for you, right? So with the screenshots, I just showed you how that works with the screen recording. I'm actually recording recording on this screen right now. You can pick the full screen to pick what you actually want it to actually uh, screen record for you. And they got advanced capture modes where if you want to do the crosshair to magnify, you want to freeze the screen, so on and so forth. But with the screen recordings, you can control the frames per seconds, the resolution, the microphone. It records as an MP4, H.264. H. You can even record GIFs and the computer audio or with a mic. And I'm using a mic that's in here off my Mac and recording it now. And it actually works perfectly fine. And right here, as you see, when you finish one, when you start off, you pick the screen, uh, the, the dimensions you want this in and so on and so forth from there. And you want the mic on and uh, if you want the pointer and all of that, or you can record a GIF or record a video and everything is there, right? And when you have your edits, they say you can capture the keystrokes, you can record your camera if you want your camera on and all these things you can change from the color to the size, to the style, to the position. Uh, everything is there and you can actually edit it when you finish. And like I said, this is an all in one. Like they say, there are seven apps in one. That is true because you can even control the audio from uh, stereo to mono to adjust the bottom, the muting it, to change the resolution, to change the quality, to change the playback speed and cloud based. So if you got other people that need to see it or if you want cloud right there and password protection or even the self destruct control, it's all there under the cloud, right? So if you're like me and need to up your screenshot and screen recording game, you're missing out and you need to get this clean shot X because like I said, it's game changer for me. I use it in my personal life, creative life and work life for everything that I got going on. They got an all in one mode. They got everything. And um, 
Like I said, it's packed full of features. So check out Clean Shot X.